I started YouTube in 2020 and I believe that YouTube is a platform that can give you a lot of opportunities regardless of where you are right now which is why I came up with a list of the things that you should consider doing when starting up your YouTube channel. I think some things are already obvious but I'm going to talk about some things that you should do and some things that you should not do just in case you're not aware of these things already. Guys, first of all, uh, so that you don't need everything to start, just a good smartphone and natural lights from the window is enough. Right now, as you can see, I'm using my iPhone XR and the window lights, and I'll recommend that you should use an iPhone because the audio quality and the visual quality is so great. The sound, there's no noise in the audio, that's why I recommend that. But nonetheless, any other smartphone can work when you are still starting up, and I think that with time you can then now invest in further equipment. So, guys, I'll tell you that when you are starting up, you can experiment with different topics, different ideas, different things but talk about what you are really interested in seriously and i'll say that guys don't tell your friends or your family members who are not interested in that topic to subscribe to your channel worst of all guys is if they don't watch youtube because it's going to have a negative impact on your channel reason why i say this is because when they open the youtube app and then they see a video and they don't watch it youtube concludes that the video is not nice because people are not clicking on it and the first people that you have are going to be your friends and family members guys i'll say that only share your channel to those that you think that are really going to watch the videos I used myself as an example. I had a channel, it had 300 subscribers who really loved me and as not for them to subscribe. But along the way, I wanted to hit 1k so bad, whereby I went out telling my friends, my family members, and people on Facebook who don't even speak English. I used Google Translate to get them to subscribe to me. And so when I uploaded the video, guys, nobody was watching. Like, it was so sad and heartbreaking, seriously. So I just advise that only tell their channel to people who really like you. And guys, don't hurry. Other people on YouTube are going to discover the channel along the way. Next up guys, I'll say that don't do sub for sub. Sub for sub is something whereby I subscribe to you and you subscribe to me. There are many Facebook groups for that and I think that it's not good because if YouTube notices that they're going to punish your channel in a very bad way without telling you. Guys, when starting, it's very okay to copy and experiment. Like me for example, when I started, I was so bad at thumbnails, seriously. But along the way, I got to see other thumbnail styles on YouTube from famous creators and I tried making something similar to that. My thumbnails, for example, are inspired by Danny Walker, Luis Portelles, The Sovereign, and so many others. So it's very okay to copy and experiment when starting, but along the way, just make it to be you. Don't just copy everything. So guys, when you're recording a video, I'll advise that you set your phone to do not disturb, seriously, because my phone, for example, I can be recording, but if someone calls, if a call is coming in, the recording is going to stop. And so, like, the phone is recording you, you're not seeing the front of the phone, so it's really going to hurt. Because it's really frustrating when you speak for 30 minutes just to notice that only five minutes of what you were saying actually recorded speaking of that guys there are many ways that you can see what's actually in the frame while recording you can use the apple watch you can use the mirror but there is this app that's called let's view you install it on your phone and your computer and you just merge the two together for example i'm talking to the camera here but i'm seeing everything on my laptop right here and it's very easy to use the app just helps you to like see everything that's happening to your phone in your computer and it's very free there are other apps like this that are paid for but this one is so free i'll leave a link to download it in the description below guys next up i'll say that don't compare someone's day 100 to your day 10 like seriously i've been here for some time and i know people who have been here for just two years and they're already at 200k and i know others who have been here since 2014 and they just hit 100k me for example guys i've had this channel for about six months and very soon i'll be entering 700 subscribers and i'm so happy for that i think what matters is that you should focus on creating quality content and timely content and content that you feel that people are going to watch and it's very relevant i think generally some people are lucky some people is because of the way they look and how they dress but i tell you guys to just focus on yourself and be authentic and along the way you are going to notice it next up i tell you to make friends like seriously people that you feel post the same content as you you can always comment on their videos follow them on instagram comment on their photos support them and trust me guys some of them are going to notice and are going to follow you back and are going to be very supportive of you like seriously speaking of friends i think you can also do collaborations with people in the same niche i think that is very easy i've not yet done this i'm still to do it but i think that it just gives more exposure to your channel and it's beneficial for the both of you guys like for example you gain some of his audience and he also gains some of your audience and so it's a win-win situation next up guys i'll say that there's going to be times where your channel is going to be like really performing very well like many subscribers many views etc and then there's going to be times whereby it's just going to be steep like a plateau nothing is changing or it's just 
decreasing and i think that is very okay sometimes will decrease sometimes will increase but don't think about that like don't stress about the analytics just focus on the content they are creating seriously and finally guys after that you can use tiktok facebook instagram all the other social media to help promote your content more i know people that have tried youtube and it's not working but they're on tiktok and they're doing very well so it just depends on you like so it just depends on what you think is okay but i advise that you should experiment with all okay so that's all that i have for beginners if you have any questions please say in the comments below i'll reply to all your comments please like the video you can message me on instagram and i'll reply you instantly please follow me there also thank you so much for watching let me know what you want to see next i'll see you in my next video